Hey everybody, so I'm going to start um, this hair tutorial with clean dry hair and my parted leave out. I'm going to mold my hair down with Eco Styler Gel. Um, I think this one is the Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel. And I'm just going to make sure everything is nice and smooth and molded backward. Then I'm going to make that mold into a French braid going down the back of my head. But, you know, you, at first you just want to get that mold laying nice and smooth and flat so that your um, hairstyle doesn't appear to be too bumpy or have too many lumps in it. So Next, I'm just kind of using my brush, a harder brush, to... Put that mold into place so that I can have a place to French braid it down. And I'm just going to French braid that straight down the back. And then I'm going to um, make sure I put a rubber band at the end to keep it from unraveling. Because my hair is still pretty short. Now my leave out, um, because of the texture of the hair that I'm using, my leave out is going to be uh, flat twisted down. So the way that I'm wearing my hair, the curls are going to be, you know, split that part is going to be to the left and to the right. So I'm going to uh, two strand flat twist the hair you know to the left and to the right in the direction so that it lays down smooth and evenly and blends well and I use that eco styler gel on the uh, flat twist as well so that I can make sure that that texture comes out so then I have to um, after this I sit under the dryer and let I let that dry I let my mold dry and then I'm going to take my protective shield and I'm going to put that all over my head the protective shield is so that um, it protects your hair from the glue so you put this uh, shield all over from your um, the perimeter all the way over the braid you put it everywhere that the glue is going to be touching so that when you get ready to wash your hair out it comes out smoothly and you don't lose any hair because of the glue I always use a protective shield so then I put my stocking cap on the hair that I'm using is the Peruvian Remy uh, coily spring it comes three bundles in each pack I did buy one pack at first and then realized when I was almost done with my hair, of course, that I didn't have enough. So I did have to go back to the store and buy another pack. But the thing is, with the other pack, I didn't use the whole thing. So with not using the whole thing, I just used um, three bundles from the one pack and then one bundle from the second pack that I bought. So now what I'm doing is basically measuring from uh, nape at the nape of my neck from left to right and then I'm cutting those tracks to fit my head and I keep doing that all the way up until I get to the top of my ear and when I get to the top of my ear then I start to kind of curve those tracks around the curve of my head it just makes for a, a more natural appearing overlay if you just mold the hair you know kind of mold the hair to the shape of your head so you know of course this is track so you're gluing track by track making sure that you know you spread the glue evenly across the track so that it sticks what I like about the protective shield is that when you do the protective shield it makes the glue adhere a little bit better and it makes your hairstyle last actually a little bit longer so I'm just going to keep going and going. So now I've gotten over my ear. I'm going to kind of wrap that track forward on my left side and bring it around curved up toward the, the front so that it kind of covers my edge a little bit. 
when I'm uh, steady laying the tracks. So you just keep going, laying the tracks until you get all the way close to where your leave out is. You want to get as close as possible so that when you uh, cut the stocking cap around your leave out, it just pretty much blends into uh, the track hair. And you can kind of see that I'm just curving that track around the curve of my head so that it just lays a little bit better. And so on the right side that it curves a little bit more forward, it allows me some room for a bang or, or some pieces to kind of fall in my face because I feel like this curl is so tight. I need a little drama, you know, over the eye without hiding both my eyebrows. I have to see my eyebrows when it comes to hair. So um, that's why I curve those tracks over a little bit. And you can see that I'm getting closer and closer to my leave out. So as I get closer and closer, you know, the um, you'll stop, you're, you'll start to see that you don't see my hair anymore. You just see the two flat twists that's laying there. So this is when I was realizing that I was running out of hair. I was getting a little worried, but of course, me being the creative person that I am, I went to the back of my head and I started to pull the tracks uh, that I had laid across the back because I realized the back was so full that it was not going to lay uh, flat or appear to be just like a curly, you know, natural if I had too many packs, I mean, too many tracks back there. So then I took some of those tracks from the back and moved it to the top of my head which made actually for a much more natural um, cut as I began to chop it up. So now what I'm going to do is cut the stocking cap around the perimeter because this is what is holding and protecting my hair. It's protecting my hair and holding the tracks on. So you just have to be careful not to cut your edges off like I almost did. Um, just kind of cut the band around uh, where you laid the tracks and you can kind of see where I laid the tracks you can still see my edges so of course I always leave my edges out because they're very fragile and I'm trying to keep them so I kind of just leave my edges out and it makes for any hairstyle a wig style any style looks more natural when you leave your edges out so now I'm cutting around the leave out um, to open up my side part that I created. And you can see that those tracks are laying close, not on top of the twist, but right close to it. So now I'm brushing it out, kind of fluffing it a little bit, trying to see how I want it to lay. And then I'm going to chop it. So I'm just pulling it, trying to shape it, trying to see, you know, what I can do with it. When it comes to this kind of stuff, it's all about you playing around and seeing, you know, what you can create. I am very creative. So when it comes to this stuff, I see it and I'm like, okay, I can, I can recreate that. And I seen this look on Facebook. So I figured I could, you know, do something similar to it. And everybody fell in love with it and wanted me to do a video. So here we are. So I'm just pulling it out, fluffing it. And then now I'm just going to trim. So if you notice, I'm pulling the hair upward because if you pull it upward, the longer lengths are going to be at the top of it and the shorter lengths are going to be at the back. And my baby is running around and I'm trying to do this video and he's like not cooperating. So that's neither here nor there. So I'm just going to keep on cutting it and playing around with it until I get the look that I'm going for. Around the ear, I'm just cutting around my ear um, to kind of shape the hair so that it looks like a, you know, a little short quaff uh, natural curl. And I'm just going to keep on cutting and I'm pulling upward so that the longer lengths are up top and the shorter lengths are toward the bottom. 
And then when I get to the back of the head, I basically just pull the hair outward and trim it that way. And when you do this part, of course, you want to have a cape or something on to cover you because that hair gets very itchy and sticky. And I'm just like, I was just itching all over while I was doing this. But I forgot to get the cape and I was being a lazy mama and didn't want to get up and go find the cape for me to put on. So you just got to mess around with it. You got to play around with it until it's to your liking, until you... um start to get the shape that you want. I think I cut on it for a couple days, you know, just kept cutting and adding tracks and cutting and adding tracks. So you just got to make it your own. And like I said, when I get to the back, you pull it outward and you just trim upward. Around the back, I kind of tapered it a little bit, cut that. Now Bay trying to tell me how to fix my hair and I'm trying to tell him, give me a mini. I got this. It's going to come out fine. You know, he like, well, baby, you know, it's, it's looking a little, it's looking a little funny. Let me do this. So, yeah, sorry. So now I'm going to take out my leave out. And the reason why I, you know, flat twisted it is so that the texture is more like um, the texture of the hair that I'm using. Of course, my hair is longer than this little cut that I'm doing. So I got to play around with it and make sure that um, I kind of tuck it inside of there and make it blend a little bit more. Of course, this one, um, my leave out was not all the way dry. So I did, you know, retwist it and then um, sit under the dryer again. And now, you know, it's a little bit tighter now. But the more I sleep on this style, the more natural it looks, the more I love it, especially with this curl. <laughs> this is the part where he's trying to tell me, but this baby, this part is straight. What you gonna do about this? What you gonna do about that? I am fixing it. I am creating a look right now and I'm recording, baby. Back up. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Two creatives in the house is, is tough, but, you know, it works. So now I got the look that I wanted and I am ready to be gorgeous with my little cut. So if you want to see the makeup look, you got to catch me on Facebook on my Makeup Monday. And that's where I do the makeup look live so that you can see step by step how we do it.